Well, I thought we did a good job. We had 39 assists again, and after being off a bit, the guys' uh, mental approach was good. Uh, they came out aggressively and kept it for most of the 48 minutes, so that was nice to see. A lot of guys part got to participate, uh, but obviously it wasn't a fair fight. Uh, you know, the Pistons are in tough shape right now with all the guys that they're missing. You know, Coach Casey's not there. Uh, but Coach Rex did a great job. You know, from beginning to end, those guys busted their butts. Uh, he was on them. They were trying to do the best they can. They got some guys out there hadn't just got there. Uh, and that makes it very difficult. So considering all that, uh, I thought they competed really well for him. And as we often say, you know, everybody just cares about the win and the loss. They don't ask who was gone. So we're happy to get the win, but uh, we understand. Uh, we'll have to play a lot better tomorrow. Absolutely. I thought that they kept us together and nobody stepped out of it or, you know, got out of their role. Once we got a lead, they didn't try to do things on their own. They stuck with the way we need to play. So that, that was good. Uh, he's a, he's a uh, intuitive player. He knows how to play the game. He understands what's going on. He's, he's good with the ball, good passer, makes good decisions. Uh, doesn't try to do things he's not capable of doing, so he plays a wise game. Do you like how Primo just seems to play the game when he gets in there? He doesn't try to do too much. Or... Uh, Joshua Joshua is a uh, is a natural. Uh, he's confident. Uh, he's got a great feel about the game. He's got a great pace to him. Uh, good passer. You know he's shooting it well, so uh, he's got a, a, a big future ahead. Oh yeah, he's been playing point. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a matter of you know. I remember the days of Corey Joseph and uh, George Hill and that sort of thing. Where at the beginning they were a little bit uh, unsteady, and now you know they're what they are, uh, really solid players. So you know, we hope the same thing for Joshua. Uh, I mean, we just wanted to take care of business, you know, do what we do, play defense, share the ball, hit shots, and, you know, um, you know, definitely just keep the pressure on them. No matter how much we got up, just kind of keep the pressure on them. Don't really give them no hope, you know, to, to, that they can stick into the game. And, um, you know, uh, you know, we just did, did what we supposed to do and we took care of business. Um, I mean, DJ, Derek, Trey, they're all amazing point guards, you know, so they, I mean, they, I knew that, uh, you know, I got trust in them that, you know, they're going to get everybody involved, uh, whichever one is on the court, you know. What did you think when you heard DeJounte was going to be available for the foreseeable future? Um, I mean, it sucks, you know, he's... I mean, he's one of our leaders. He's like a big brother to me and to a lot of players on the team. So, obviously, you know, to see him go out sucks because, I mean, uh, I mean, he works works so hard, you know, to see him, you know, have to sit out from, from, from COVID, you know, it sucks. You don't want to wish that on nobody. Did you guys saw him this morning before that happened? Uh, yeah, briefly. Okay yeah, I mean, we didn't – we talked to him a little bit, but it didn't seem like anything was, was wrong with him. He didn't seem sick or anything like that. Um, you know, honestly, you know, that's not in, I mean, we honestly, all we can do is, you know, pray and wear our masks and take the right precautions to, you know, be safe, you know, and the rest of it take care of itself. I mean, obviously, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of scary because, you know, you never know if, if you have it or you don't, or you don't have it, uh, cause you could be as asymptomatic. So, I mean, obviously you get a little nervous, but, you know, I think as long as you, you know, take the right precautions and, um. I mean, I have my booster shots, so I, I've, I'm doing everything that, you know, I can do to protect myself. So, you know, just, you know, just keep praying and, you know, pray that me and my teammates and everyone else in the league stays healthy and, you know, that that uh, we can clear everything up so we can play. What's it doing for you guys having a big like Josh that can step out there and not 
I mean, he definitely adds more to uh, a lot, a lot of different attributes to the game. I mean, he's rough and tough, and like you say, you can step out and hit a three. So it, it really opened up lane to, to to get to the basket. Uh, definitely, you know, definitely they're a great team. Utah Jazz, they're a great team. But uh, like I said before, you know, we just got to come out and execute, do what we do, uh, listen to the game plan, and, you know, go out there, compete, and, and play to win. Um, I mean, it's a lot different. They love Primo. <laughs> Whoa, the, the crowd go crazy for Primo. I mean, no, <laughs> but you know, I slowly won everybody over, you know, did my time. But you know, it's definitely, I mean, it's exciting to see, you know, Primo's gonna be a great player and uh, to see him, you know, take the, take the, all the right steps, you know, and you know, his time is coming for sure. Well, at least, like, for me, it wasn't no pressure, you know, because, I mean, I was I was in G League back and forth, and I just knew, you just get better, you know, just trust the process and, and everything else will be fine. You know, Primo is young, you know. He's a great he's a great player now, and he's going to be an even better player in the future. So as long as he just, you know, keep stay level-headed and work hard like we all know he'll do, he's going to be perfectly fine. Right. Um, we knew it was going to be a weird game. Um, you know, they had guys testing – Positive today, even um, you know there's a ref out even, and then you know we had Dejounte out, so we knew it was going to be a little different uh, of a game. But um, you know we had to you know continue to prepare the same way like we always do, um, knowing that it's going to be a weird season, and you know there's a lot of things going on right now. So um, you know it's been a fun couple of past days uh, celebrating Christmas with our families and, and whatnot. But um, you know we had to get back to work tonight. Right, actually this morning. Um, yeah, it was it was this morning. Um, we had gone through um, shoot around, and then he he wasn't there. So um, we we knew that he wouldn't be there. Obviously, you see so many people testing positive right now, so you kind of guess that um, there will be points in the season where you know you'll be without a teammate for a week and a half. But um, you know we got to continue to just uh, stay together. Um, everyone's got to do a little bit more, especially when it's someone like Dejounte who who does so much for our team already, and so. Um, all of us got to step up a little bit more and continue to just come together and try to get better every single game. Right, I know it's, it's a weird, it's a weird deal um, right now. So we're all just trying to uh, stay safe, wear our masks, um, keep our distance and whatnot, and um, you know, hopefully um, the spike that's going on right now um, peaks soon, so um, we kind of get away from this. Literally, yeah, literally, you don't know. It could be morning and your whole team's there, and by night it could be, you know, half the team gone. So it's definitely a weird time. Great. Um, I mean, just the way uh, the way that, you know, we played and shared the ball tonight, I liked a lot for sure. Um, you know, we, we were running the court. Um, guys were moving. And I happened to um, have it a few times at the end of those possessions where I was finding guys and they were scoring. But, you know, it's all the credit to my teammates for, you know, getting open and continuing to pass and, you know, cutting everything. But, yeah, Jock's been playing amazing. Um, you know, I was able to watch him this summer um, in the Olympics. Um, and then um, saw that we had signed him. And so I knew what type of player we, get, we were getting in him um, just from watching. And then, um, you know, we were been in the gym a lot. Uh, we've been a couple of the guys that weren't really in the rotation early this year. So we'd be in there playing three on three and stuff and always playing together then too. So we kind of got a little bit of chemistry from that. Uh, we shoot around before games at the same time. So, um, you know, we have really good chemistry and I'm just really happy for him. I'm really happy with how he's playing. Um, he's a competitor. He can do a lot of different things. He's very versatile on offense. He um, can stretch the floor. Um, he's always competing. Um, he's bringing a huge, huge thing for us. Right. Yeah, it was definitely a different, um, different thing tonight. But 
I mean, that's how the NBA is. I think it's just um, you don't know what you're getting on a um, night, nightly basis. Um, it's always going to be different. And so uh, we knew that um, as long as we uh, continue to follow the game plan, um, did what we needed to do, that um, everything would take care of itself. Um, I don't know if it necessarily would change. Um, you know, he, I think the way he plays, um, he's very unselfish. Um, he's like a point guard, even though DeJounte kind of starts that point guard. Um, you know, he's always getting in there, finding guys, knocking down open shots, taking his shots. Um, you know, we all trust him with the ball. Um, we know that, you know, he makes big plays and everything. So I don't know if his ne job necessarily changes. He might just have to do a little bit more. Um, while, while DeJounte is out. But like I said before, like the, the whole team needs to uh, continue to step up and do more um, with DeJounte out as well. Looking at a guy like Josh Primo and getting in a game like this, it's kind of already out of hand. Are you kind of impressed that he just comes in and just plays the game? He doesn't try to, you know, some young guys will get in that situation and try to show off or try to, try to you know, show that he's earned this. He just seems to play the game that it comes to him even in that situation. Is that impressive? Right. I think that speaks volume. Um, to how he is and who he is um, as a person. Um, he's not a selfish guy. He wants to see everyone succeed, too. Um, and, I mean, he's extremely young, and he's learning a lot of things. Um, and so him just getting in, um, he's always excited to get in, um, always ready um, whenever his name is called so far. And so, um, you know, he's one of those guys that's always working in the gym, too, so you know when he gets in, that he'll do a lot for us.